Seahawks Today is presented by Manscaped. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. You can get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code Seahawks at checkout. We'll tell you more about Manscaped coming up later in the show. Today, we are going to look at some potential players that you think would be cut candidates that actually have a chance to make the 53-man roster when it's said and done. We'll tell you who those players are and give our evaluations and analysis coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, quick survey for the 12s out there. I want to know, if you've been a Seahawks fan for five years or more, go ahead and spam 12 in the comments. Type it as much as humanly possible to let everybody know that you've been around for a minute. If you've been a Seahawks fan for less than that, that's okay too. We got younger fans. We got people that maybe just moved to Seattle, whatever it may be. Tell us how long you've been a Seahawks fan. Let me know. Just a little quick survey for us here on Seahawks today, and we'll get started with today's show. So here's what we're going to do. 12th Man Rising, the Seahawks fan cited site. Uh, they put together a list of four players that they think have a decent chance to shock everybody and end up making the Seahawks 53-man roster. So we'll show you their names, their analysis, and then we'll react with our own thoughts here on Seahawks today. Let's start with wide receiver Jake Bobo, undrafted out of UCLA. We've talked a lot about Jake Bobo on this channel over the last several weeks, and he was one of the more notable names to get picked up of undrafted free agents, really across the National Football League, as he had made his name known when he was at Duke, and then most recently at UCLA, playing under Chip Kelly. The thing about Jake Bobo, and you're going to hear this in every single scouting report based on uh, anybody that knows anything, <laughs> that does any type of actual research, you'll see that Jake Bobo, tall guy, good pass catcher, but not very fast. And that's the thing holding him back. And there's always the possibility he could end up playing tight end. Well, Lee Val from 12th Man Rising had this to say about Jake Bobo. Bobo is 6'4", 210 pounds, so he has good height. He can also catch well. According to his UCLA head coach, Chip Kelly, Bobo is a fantastic route runner who works his tail off in practice to try to get even better. What Bobo doesn't have is a lead speed, which is probably why he went undrafted this year. But Bobo can do two things well to make the Seattle roster. One is to prove he can be a red zone threat he has the size to do and the hands. But can he go up and get contested catches because he doesn't likely have the speed to break away from corners? Bobo, we mentioned, started out at Duke from 2018 to 2021, then entered the infamous transfer portal to end his career with UCLA, where he had a solid season last year. His last year at Duke, he was a third-team all-ACC selection. And Jake Bobo... I don't know if he'll necessarily make the roster, but at the very least, I would love to keep him around on the practice squad and call him up if there's an injury uh, at the wide receiver or tight end position, either one. Uh, Jake Bobo, I think there's a lot of potential there. He's still very raw in some ways, but if you can figure out the route running and those contested catches, especially in the red zone, Jake Bobo could be a nice find potentially for Seattle. So, predicted for me, our pin comment today, will Jake Bobo make the Seahawks 53-man roster or not? Chime in in the comment section. Let me know if you think he will. Why for yes, in for no, if he'll make the roster. Next up is Mario Edwards Jr., the defensive end. And I got to tell you, we've talked uh, a lot about Mario Edwards in his career. He's, he's uh, been a notable name for quite some time, and you may remember him back when he was even playing college football, winning BCS national championships. Mario Edwards has been around the yard for a minute, and this Seahawks team, it's no secret that they are looking for depth of sorts when it comes to the front seven, and Mario Edwards might be able to provide the Seahawks just what they're looking for. Here's more on Mario Edwards. Mario Edwards Jr. might seem like a cheap free agent pickup to try to help fill out the roster, but he could also end up being a starter in several games. I'm not saying Edwards is a better defensive end than Jaron Reed or Draymond Jones, but Edwards might do one thing better than either Reed or Jones, and that is stop the run. Edwards is an early down player who can set a hard edge playing the run. 
You talk about experience for Mario Edwards. Here's a guy that's played for Las Vegas, Giants, the Saints, the Bears, the Jags, the Titans, uh, pretty much like a third of the league at this point. And 99 career games with 32 starts. It's pretty remarkable uh, what he's done throughout his career. That experience that he brings to the table uh, is uncanny, uh, to say the least, uh, with Mario Edwards there. And, you know, I, I look at Mario Edwards, and for me, that one thing that was mentioned there that I think is very important is that run-stopping ability. Because as we've gone through this offseason and seen what the Seahawks have done with the players they've added, you know, the offense obviously is going to be significantly better with the receiver help with JSN. And then the run game added depth with Zach Charbonnet and Kenny McIntosh. You know, you took care of those things. And then the secondary room, of course, got better. That's going to help in the passing game. When you look at the run defense, it was a big problem for Seattle last year. And they did you know, some, a few changes to address the uh, run defense, but not any major changes. So this might be the major change that the Seahawks were were looking for, at least if he could be sneaky good. Watch out. We'll see what Mario Edwards could do. Great, the Seahawks signing of Mario Edwards, ABCDRF. What do you think of what the Seahawks did to bring in Mario Edwards? Chime in in the comment section. Let me know, ABCDRF, what your grade for signing Mario Edwards is. Folks, if you haven't heard, it's smooth sack summer when you're playing in the summer. Sun, make sure your escape from pubes to bum. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. The leaders in below the waist grooming are making sure we all have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh. Dive head first into Smooth Sack Summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code Seahawks at checkout. That is uh, promo code Seahawks at manscaped.com for 20% off. And you may be asking, what is included? Well, folks, we are offering the Performance Package 4.0, which has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. They have built the ultimate grooming bundle for summer grooming. That includes the Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer, uh, which I got to tell you, you know, from personal experience, uh, makes makes the boys down there feel pretty good, if I say so myself. Uh, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. The last thing you need is smelly balls. Am I right? No, no, no chick wants to be around a guy like that. Um, and you also get uh, the boxers, the travel bag, all of it's included. It's a great deal. Uh, at manscaped.com, 20% off plus free shipping. Promo code Seahawks at checkout. Get yours today. Tell them that Ch Tyler Jones and Chat Sports sent you. You'll be glad you did. That's manscaped.com, promo code Seahawks for 20% off plus free shipping. Next on our list is Jarek Reed II. Now, you may re recall last week we did a uh, whole video on Jarek Reed and I personally would not be surprised to see him make the 53-man roster, but considering that some people graded him out as an undrafted player, it might be a surprise to some, as is the case 12th man rising here. But nonetheless, Jarek Reed, here is uh, what they had to say as far as Jarek Reed goes. If Reed can, and he likely will, prove he is worth on special teams, he's going to get a chance to have a few reps at safety or slot corner. He can force turnovers, so as long as he doesn't try to do too much on a play so that he gets out of position, he should be solid. Heck, as injured as Seattle safety is getting there in the season, see Jamal Adams, Reed could even end up being a spot starter at times. Jarek Reed, uh, I love the story of Jarek Reed. This is a guy that has been so under the radar. He was a three-star recruit by all the recruiting services when he was coming out of college and went to New Mexico, which is not some college football powerhouse by any means, and ended up being the first player drafted from that school since 2018. All uh, conference honorable mention there in the Mountain West this past year, sixth-round pick by the Seahawks. Don't sleep on Jarek Reed. I'm telling you this right now. We know the Seahawks have some good safeties with – Jamal Adams, Quandre Diggs, Julian Love. And as you look into Jarek Reed and what he brings to the table, I see some similarities to Quandre Diggs, quite frankly. 
uh, as far as that goes. So watch out. We'll see what Jarek Reed brings to the table there. What's one word to describe Seattle's pick of Jarek Reed, selecting him in the sixth round? What did you think of what they did? Give me one word to describe it all, and let me know in the comments section before we reveal our final name on the list today. Last but not least on our list of cut candidates to watch to potentially still make the 53-man roster is Austin Fioiu. Uh, and this is a guy that I got to tell you is got a fascinating story. Seattle football fans may be very familiar with him because who did he play for most recently? Oh, yeah, the Seattle Sea Dragons from the XFL for the love of football, right? Here's more on uh, Austin. With the Sea Dragons, uh, he was named to the All-XFL team after playing 10 games, getting one sack and making 24 tackles. The key to being a successful nose tackle for the Seahawks is to eat up blockers and letting the linebackers clean up running backs. He won't need to have 50 tackles and five sacks. He is incapable of that anyway, but he does have the size. He is 6'3", 290 to battle on the inside of the defensive line. It's no secret that the Seahawks are lacking when it comes to the interior of the defensive line. And when you look at where they're at with Brian Monet uh, recovering from the injury, you got Cameron Young there that's still got a lot to prove. Based on the timetable of Monet's recovery, which we still have some unanswered questions on, he very well could end up making this roster when it's all said and done. There's a guy that impressed the Seahawks enough that out of rookie minicamp, they ended up signing him uh, to a contract to make the 90-man roster. So obviously he's impressed to some extent to the Seahawks coaching staff. Started his career undrafted with the Oregon Ducks, went on to the Dallas Cowboys, and a great story to see him go from the all-XFL team with the Sea Dragons uh, there uh, with – Dwayne the Rock Johnson's league, and now all of a sudden getting a chance to potentially make a roster in the National Football League with Seattle. So, uh, you know, going from Lumen Field, remember they played right there at Lumen Field, the Sea Dragons did, and making Seattle home. Great story. I imagine if he makes it, he'd be a fan favorite for sure. Who's going to start at nose tackle week one for the Seahawks? Is Brian Monet coming back? Is Cameron Young going to be that guy? Maybe it's Austin. What do you think? Who starts at week one at nose tackle for the Seahawks? Let me know in the comments section. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I just recently joined Threads as well, at Tyler Jones Live. If anything happens with your Seahawks this weekend, you know we're going to be all over it. All updates on the channel uh, and on my social media and all that. So stay tuned for that. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time right here on Seahawks.